Welcome to Latin America. Thank you. <laughs> People is looking for adventure when they go to the cinemas. You have created a highly entertaining roller coaster movie. We really wanted Inception to be a ride, to be a, a grand entertainment for the audience. Uh, and I think the world of dreams and, and the world of uh, a world in which you can share dreams and experience and build dreams together, it gave us a great uh, playground for creating a, a very large scale action movie. In real life, we can share dreams. When did you think in translate this concept to dream life? I think uh, dreams is something I've been interested in for a long time, the, the world of dreams. And um, over time, uh, I think I started to realize that one of the interesting things about dreams is how private they are. And I started to ask the question, well, what if you could break down those barriers? What if, what if two people or even more could actually have this, the same dream and share the same dream? Ideas are more important than feelings in these dreams? I think both ideas and, and feelings are very important in the dreams. Feelings are particularly important in these dreams because they're being shared. And so you create an alternate reality where, you know, if you, if you fight somebody or if you fall in love with somebody, you know, whatever, that, that's going to be real. It's going to be meaningful because you're both actually engaged in that, in that behavior. So when you wake up, the implications of that, the ramifications of it, they, they're going to carry into the real world. You shoot in six different countries and build huge sets. How is your team of filmmakers similar to Cobb's team? I think now that I, I look at the finished film, I think there are a lot of similarities between the way a, a director has to put together a, a film production, okay. uh, work with a team of people and, and create a, a world and what these guys are doing. They're, you know, they're creating a world for somebody to come into and lose themselves in. What kind of camera and post-production software did you use in this opportunity? Uh, we shot uh, 35 millimeter anamorphic, which is what I've shot on all my films. Uh, and we uh, cut on film, uh, cut the negative together and print it in a very old-fashioned way, and it gives you a, a very high-quality image, uh, higher quality than a lot, of, a lot of the video cameras that are being offered for, for filmmaking these days. And uh, I'm very much a technical traditionalist, really. And in post-production? In post-production, uh, we edit, you know, on a, on a computer, and then we uh, take that and we... Uh, when we finish the cut of the film, we go back to the original negative and we cut the film together and uh, print it from there, the way it's been done for, uh, you know, a hundred years. Congratulations. It's a very beautiful and marvelous movie. Thank you.